The name of the book is 237 More Reasons to Have Sex. So I think all books should start out with that title, by the way. <laughs> and we probably sell more books. Okay, um, number three. Because I was on all fours anyway, looking for the earring, I dropped <laughs> under the table. Four, because of the plums, so delicious, so cold. Forgive me. Five, my vibrator was in the repair shop. Six, to remember me sainted mother, Lord forgive her. Seven, to be forgiven, to do my penance. Eight, because of the blue light special on condoms. Nine, because today was the KY Jelly's expiration date. <laughs> Ten, she brought in this vibrator, worn out. What else could I do? Eleven, I've always been a people pleaser. Twelve, because when you asked, may I borrow your pen, please? I thought you meant my penis. <laughs> Thirteen, I was turned on by your ultra neat penmanship. Fourteen, I thought you were asleep and you would not remember me. Fifteen, I thought you were somebody else. Sixteen, I thought I was somebody else. Seventeen, I thought the world was going to blow up any minute and this would be my last chance. Eighteen, you were blocking the way to the refrigerator. Nineteen, you tasted like a BLT. Twenty, you were my mayonnaise. Twenty-one, I thought it was a sign that you were humming my favorite song. 22, I thought you French the bed, so I wanted to French our kiss. 23, I'd already rented the French maid's costume, so I figured I might as well do it. 24, I yearned to play the English butler because I liked the way the butler did it. 25, because I knew you were clean and would be discreet. 104, you did a mean Band-Aid strip tease. 105, my barbecue burlesque was a huge success. 106, the bartender said, this one's called Sex on the Beach. Then he winked and nudged us. 107, by the end of the night, when you swallowed the tequila worm, you were my hero. 108, we still had time left on the parking meter. <laughs> 109, there was an hour to go before curfew. 110, and yes, I said, yes, I will, yes but you'd stupidly locked yourself in the bomb shelter and the air raid warden was handy. 111, I spun the bottle and its neck pointed to you. 112, as St. Augustine said, oh Lord, give me chastity, but meanwhile, I'd like a little something right about now. 113, you promised me we could name our first daughter chastity, just like Sonny and Cher had. 114, I wanted to be a Scirocco in the desert red sand. 115, I wanted to be the cocoa that warmed your hands. 116, I wanted to be your dark burial, deafening the ears of Greece. 117, I wanted to be your bright fury. I wanted to negotiate your year-to-year -year lease. 118, I wanted to be your tramontana, suckling seabed near Corsica. 119, I wanted to be your vacuum. Eureka. <laughs> 139, it was at your coming out party, and I showed up the Waldorf Astoria in my red cape. Nobody knew that my real name was Stanislav Schmigegi. 140, I recognized you immediately, but knew enough to stay quiet. And then the cops with their glittering handcuffs and warrant for my husband's arrest. 141, I declared to the cops that they couldn't take you alive, that this was the new adventures of Stanislav Schmigegi and Monica. I always get excited thinking of you as Monica. 142, I always get excited thinking of myself as Saint Monica, who as a young girl was given up in marriage to a bad-tempered, adulterous pagan named Patricius. 143, I think of you that way too, or at least I'd like to get into the habit, if you know what I mean. 144, that means I think of you as God, my savior, my superhero. 145, and when we Get it on, we call it an act of God, so everybody's happy. 146, the sun through the stained glass turned your face violet, my favorite color. 147, you were so modest playing violet in the remake of It's a Wonderful Life, wearing your love-stained dress when you said, oh, this old thing, I only wear it when I don't care how I look. 148, I also like to play the other Monica, chubby Monica of beret humiliation, hussy Monica, Monica the duped. 149, they told me, use it or lose it. I did lose it for a couple of days, but the dry cleaner found it in my dress trousers. 150, sure I was a money grubber, a gold digger, but that didn't mean I didn't love you. 
151, they told me, she's just using you. She's taking you for a ride. And I answered, so what? 194, I suddenly surmised that you were part human, part bird. 195, I could smell your astonishment. 196, it was my cologne called Astonishment by Edward Monk. 197, I was from the kingdom of the damaged. 198, I lived in a little shack just down the hill from you. 199, you were from the kingdom of the damaged. 200, halfway between the kingdom of the damaged and the hamlet of the deranged. 201, you were as irresistible and complicated as a great poem. 202, you were like a shimmering flower of eyes, hair, and petals. 203, I could hear the blood murmuring through your aqua veins as though telling me to keep things hush hush. 204, did you hear the great rustling slash shuddering slash beating of great outspread wings above us? 205, did you smell the ocean in our sheets? 206, I couldn't remember having been there before, but there was something familiar, amniotic about it. Center of rainforest, maybe. No, it was a mountain. We were halfway up the slope. 206, you were eating something, a mango, the juices of which dripped down your chin. 208, it was a lobster, I thought, but no matter. 209, yes, that's it. You were breaking open a dappled pink claw. 210, yes, and the butter spattering my plastic bib. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rather than a big impression. <laughs> okay.